shirt too thin, a bag too shiny. Summer and her dog Ego were not local when it showed. Okay, eight minutes. After the bridge, second turn on the left. Information was shared through signs and stabs. In a family of languages west of his birthplace and east of hers, a pair of strangers, but old friends on some prehistoric level too, Summer left home after things changed. She missed the unity. It might have been a lie, but it tasted better than the bitterness of us and them. Connection became a high she chased, lazily scored through communes with strangers. The more random the pairing, the bigger the thrill. She was tired from traveling, exhausted from hoping and heartbroken from reading the news. He came back from his working day excited and gleaming with an unquestioned faith in life and its potential that she was trying to forget about. So over foreign snacks, she told him what happened at home. That hollow chant of take back control, take back control, take back control. For him, it was the end of the month. For her, it was the end of the world. That gap in their realities was ignored when they stood and kissed. First, a soft layer, cheek, lip, thumb, tongue, then hard edges. Knee, hip, toe, tooth, erection, knuckle. Now Summer was high off the rush of that accelerated intimacy. The ease, that penetration and orgasm cut through divisions of language and gender leaving them in a bath of primordial soup where she found what felt like home. He was tired but satisfied from their night of sex and his day of work. A perfect cog of digital capitalism, who met her out on the slice of common ground they'd carved out for themselves. Out here it was windy and cold. She felt inadequate and he looked bored and whatever they'd shared quickly began to disappear. Thank God for ego, the only thing that saved her. Rejection and self-loathing split her up like a carcass. Brain, memory, stomach, sex, all floated in tandem on her way to Uma. Inside, she moved through the crowd, unified, identityless, sweat, hair, rubber, bound them. Forgetting the rejection, their hate, the news. This was a freedom worth fighting for, and these would be the people to do it. Glass and flesh met like old friends in the crowd's dance of love and hate. And through shared fluids, the faceless citizens of this world connected. Watching for tips on how to survive, Summer sipped her energy drink and danced. 